you've got a Saladin 600 software on a Panasonic Toughbook. I'm testing this master vault inverter on the bench and setting it up on the bench so I can take it and install it as a secondary inverter on the wind turbine feeding grid. So this is an inverter. I'm just testing it on a, a bench power supply feeding 30 volt in and 2.47 amps. So to set these inverters up I found the best way is view wind settings and then you've got your voltage here so on the left bank is start up voltage that's all these voltages down here that's uh, the start from the top it will start at 25 volt and take no amps I've set it at 28 volts and taking one and a half amp when it gets to 30 I want two and a half amp 35 volt five and a half amp and if it goes up to 55 I'm taking eight amp now you can set them to your requirements and when you put in the amps what you desire and the volts you just press OK and then it will new wind settings and I press OK again so I'll go back here and I see what this is doing 74 watts it's putting into the AC power that's this one here and I'm putting in 30.3 volts 2.7 amp 202 watt peak and I can just reset that one reset and now it's showing 74 watt peak so my mains voltage is 244 50 hertz input voltage 30.3 now let's see what this does if I set the wind settings to the defaults So the default settings is 40, 40, 40, 40 and 90. And I go here and I'm putting in 0 watts, 0 amps. Because I can only put in a maximum of 31 volts with my bench test power supply unit. So if it was a wind turbine or even a solar panel, I can set it to what I want. So I'm going to tell it to start up 25 volts. Take no amps. And then uh, if I get to 28 volt. I can take an amp or two. I'll take one amp, and then if I go down to thirty-five, let's take let's take four amp, and if we go down to 
45. I take a 5 amp. And I don't want to go to 90. So I'll go to 55 at 6.1 and I'll save the settings to the grid inverter and now we'll have a look so as soon as I save them settings my 30 volt input is putting actually 60 watt in because I told it to take a little bit less. So go back in there then. And I'll go back into Wind's uh, settings. And I can go like that. 28 volts. I'll tell it to take two. Let's take two. Now we'll have a look at the settings. Now it's taking 30.3 volts, but it's taking more amps, which is boosted it up to 73 watts. So these grid timers don't take high amps. But if you can configure two, then you'll be cooking on gas. So I can go right up to 8 amps with 55 volt. So I might just step that up to a little bit. I'll be uh, on the safe side, 65 volt, the 8 amp. I think I might be greedy and take a little bit more. Take a five and a half amps. I don't want to stall the turbine, but it's a big enough one. 28 volts at two and a half amps, not much anyway. And there we go. Graph. Now we've we'll stepped that up to 80 watt. We've we'll just dropped the voltage down because we'll put a bit of a load onto this which drops the voltage because I've got more load on it. So there you go. These inverters are very tough. We've never blown up, blown one up. Connections are very simple. You got a communication port on the bottom here. You got mains input on the bottom left. Positive and negative. And they come with a comport connection. So you need an old laptop with a comport connection. The software is very easy to set up. You've got to make sure to make it work with wind, you right click on this software and you go to properties. And then you've got to write in on the extension in that blue box. Let me just see here. So that's what you got to do. Because you put it in default. Let's zoom in here. Uh, put it in default right up to the salad in exe but then you've got to put forward slash wind 
make it work with wind. Thank you.